Maine. I mean, it's well noted, but Sussex, East Sussex in particular, was the home of the truck. You had two uh, well-known truck makers in the area. One was called Thomas Smith, and the other one was uh, Rupert Reed. Uh, Thomas Smith, he actually took some up to um, the Great Exhibition in 1851 in um, Hyde Park. And um, Queen Victoria ordered some of him for the garden, so he did paint a really special one, which went to her, and the others all went in the garden. So, but it's still interesting, and um, you know, I can I do courses actually on making the truck, so I do teach it as well. So, and um, some of the other truck makers or the other companies, you know, if you would like me to do teaching at their establishments. So we are looking into that just at the moment. That's a, a question we get all the time, how long does it take to make a truck? I suppose today, to make a, a small truck would probably take about an hour. Um, the old fashioned way of making a truck, by cleaving all the boards out, so they're all split by hand, with a, with sort of a tool called a throw, and uh, but there's, uh, as you can see, there's a bed there, and this is the clamp, so you put your work underneath, uh, underneath that clamp, as you sit on it and you push it forward on the bottom of the clamp, it tightens it up on the top so it can't move. But you never actually make one truck. You never actually do one at a time. Like for instance, the chestnut is all cut in the winter, all cleft and uh, split and shaped and put away for two or three years. I mean, I've got stuff now that's stored away, which is probably a couple of three years old. Important. Once you've got this one in, the others more or less fall into place. The first copper tack you, you put in, you drive it straight through. You make sure I've got a nice even line through there, nice even bend. I mean, I run up to about seven different sizes and round ones and all sorts of shapes. You can make them like a cucumber basket, which is very narrow and long. Flower baskets is shallow one end, so you can actually um, lay your flowers in without breaking the heads off. Um, you know, on agriculture use, they were actually used as measures. You had a bushel, a half bushel, um, which is an old measurement, which a lot of people won't probably know about. But uh, they're very strong. They're very light and very strong and durable. I mean, you get trunks come back sometimes 40, 50 years old. I've still got some, or which I've managed to get from antique dealers, which are about 100 year old. So they do last a long time. You know, we reckon on 20 years and. And uh, I can guarantee them now because I'm old enough to uh, <laughs> to run to run that sort of time.